Asia Uncut, brought to you by Electronic Arts and Crown Relocations. All right, we continue our chat with Mr. Guy Manukian. So, are you a musician, composer, where did you grow yeah. up exactly? I grew up, I was born in Lebanon. Yeah. And uh, I've traveled a lot. I mean, since I was very young, I used to travel a lot with my parents. And when you live in Lebanon, uh, you're so bombarded with so many kinds of cultures and so many kinds of music. So you grow up studying classical music and listening to French music because it's a French-speaking country. Then uh, you start listening to radio stations where, where they play, you know, English. And I grew up in the 80s, so I love the 80s. So you know Hall & Oates. Hall & Oates, yeah, of course. Finally! Hall & Oates, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Of course. Of course. They it's just good. did like a small comeback when I was in the States. They went on like they a did? big show, yeah, and they played together on Oprah. On Oprah? <laughs> yeah, I swear. Oh, that Oprah. And they look weird now. Who's taking our guest? They, they look, I That's mean. It's probably on the plastic. Different. Yeah, now. they've got to be. They've got to be pulled back a little but, bit. But, you know, I grew up on Kajagugu and Bananarama, you know, and this kind of band, so the 80s. 80s so, are good, man. So being in Lebanon, I mean, uh, in a way, uh, ma made me who I am today musically. That's why I call my music pure Lebanese music, which is a mix of the East and the West, and, but it's something new. Are you seeing that trend more and more, that the East and the West coming together in the music scene? I'm seeing scene? that the whole world is, is opening up. I mean, yeah. me today being in Singapore proves that. I mean, today, if I, I'm, I'm in, in Singapore, I'm going to hear, I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot of Indian music. I'm going to hear a lot of Chinese music. And I'm going to try to incorporate what I'm taking here and put it in my music and create something new. So I think the whole world just opened up and we're living, everything has become so accessible because of Google. Because and of Google, that's right. <laughs> so uh, I think that's great. You actually started composing when you were eight. How does that, do you actually start writing music when you're eight? I mean, uh, when I start playing music, I have two older brothers. So they used to take piano lessons. I didn't because my hands were too small. Don't look at them now. Yeah. Yeah. One million dollars in insurance, is that correct? Yeah, each. Each? So you got a little two million dollars there? Do you need a? You need a? I'd, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather. Need a quick. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Under grand or so. Trust me, I mean, I'd rather, you know, not have the money and just be safe and be good. Trust me. All right. Okay. Fine. You wouldn't care for the money. No, you don't want to do that. If something happens because to you. that's that is your livelihood. That is your career. Excellent. And hands, you can use them in in many things. You know I, I mean. certainly <laughs> know all about that. Yes, it's true. So uh, basketball, if you weren't going to be a musician. You, you have a bad mind, you know. <laughs> Me? I mean, why would you say I that? I swear, you I Americans know, come and try that, to pollute everything. Where why are you this, doing that? Where is this trouble? It's all about trouble. That's exactly right. Don't, you're, don't tell me your mind didn't go there the same way. You know, no? I'm an Arab. I have to do this with you. you know? <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. So. I know. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> See, we've got some love right here. Yeah. <laughs> but if you weren't going to be a musician, you were going to be a basketball I mean, player. I've studied law. Uh, You've studied law. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I, I finished my music studies when I was 17. I had to do something. And my mom was always telling me, I mean, maybe you don't do it. I mean, you don't make, you don't make money a lot of money. Music. And uh, my grandfather was a lawyer, and it was, ba it was basically the only thing I wanted to do. But trust me, playing basketball, studying law, and music made my music career. Because in basketball, you learn how to play in a team. You know how to, and because I have a band at the end of the day, the way I work with my band is the same way that the coach works with his players. And you learn how to trust, you know how to make a block or do a screen. It's the same in life. And when you study law, you become a practical person. You know the right from the wrong. I am an artist, but I'm not a crazy artist. Right. You know, I am a down-to-earth, pragmatic. You don't be I a crazy so. lawyer artist. So I think they are all complementary, and they all benefited my music in a way. You have CDs that uh, all, yeah, of, I'm all signed, of our viewers can I'm, go. Uh, my new CD, which is coming out now in May, it's called Asuman. Asuman. How, it's do, a, I, how do I spell that? A double S O U M A N. It's a Persian name. It's called uh, the Clear Sky. Because, oh, as, as I told you, my music is not pure Arabic. It's the music of my region. And my region, there's a lot of Persian, there's a lot of Chaldean, Assyrian, Arabic, you know, so... It's great influence for music. Exactly. Hey, you know, there's a great uh, restaurant in Hong Kong called Beirut. Got the little falafel, really? the tabbouleh. Wow, good that's stuff. great. You ever make it I up mean, there? you know what, what happens every time I travel to a place? Like, they take me to a Lebanese restaurant. I mean, because they, they know I'm Lebanese. I'd, I'd say, like, I was just there. I mean, take me something. 
We, you and I different. can go get a burger after this. Yeah, you I, mean, do that? I want a burger. I don't yeah. want, you know, tabbouleh. No, who wants that? I just came from tabbouleh land a few <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> you did. Any uh, any future projects that we can talk about? Future projects. I want to write a note uh, for Shakira here. So yeah. while you're talking. Future projects. I'm. I will be performing in in the biggest festival of the Middle East. Uh, it's called the Beit Din Festival. It's uh, in Lebanon, and uh, in in my in my career as a as a musician from the Middle East, it's the biggest thing that a musician can reach for. And uh, accompanying me will be the Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra. So, I will be having like 96 musicians on stage. Wow. And Mario Reyes from the Gypsy Kings yeah, yeah, sure. will also be performing with me. So uh, I'm really excited for that. It's terrific. Guy, it is an absolute pleasure. Let's get Thank everyone you. out to see you. Guy Manukian. All right, that's all we have time for tonight on Asia Uncut. Thanks to all my guests who have been here with us. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep it uncut. Guy, thanks for that. If you like your Asia Uncut, visit here. Asia Uncut, brought to you by Electronic Arts and Crown Relocations.